Well, good morning, friends. Happy Monday. It is a gorgeous day, and um, I have already taken Aubrey to school. I have been up since 5 o'clock this morning, and I'm feeling pretty good, surprisingly. Um, if I didn't get a chance to tell you, Shane is actually working. Hey! Um, it's just a temporary job right now. Um, one of the local mines shut down, which means that he's able to go in with his work and uh, do some maintenance on the mine. So that is what he is doing, and it is a ways away, so he has to be up extra early, which means a good wife. <laughs> I want to be a good wife, <laughs> um, is up early with him to get him out the door and um, I'm choosing to just kind of start my day and have some time with the Lord and get ready and yeah, redeem my time because I tend to not do that. So it is Monday, it is about 9.30, I just finished my breakfast, I'm having a coffee, I went to McDonald's today to get one. <sighs> favorite coffee. <laughs> um, so I am going to do some Scentsy work and uh, Mondays are hard days for me because it is a really big business day and it's come when I'm like coming off the weekend I want to kind of do stuff around my house but I really just need to do some work. Um, so because it's also the beginning of the month that means that there's extra work to do because um, a lot of new stuff happens at the beginning of the month. So people who didn't maintain a business um, uh, fall off our team and um, so I need to go through our Facebook page and remove people who are no longer active with their business off of our team page because it's just a privilege to be on there. Um, I need to go through and run reports for whose birthday is this month and top sales for last month. Um, new team members, we uh, had someone join last night, which was exciting. So I have to send um, a new uh, um, welcome newsletter with like info about what to do next. And yeah, just lots of reports to run. We have a new warmer that... Um, is released. It's like wildly popular. It's my all-time favorite warmer. It is a reproduction of a vintage Shasta trailer camper um, and I am in love with Shastas. I kind of have a slight obsession. Um, a couple years ago I like fell in love with like vintage campers and Shastas were the ones that I thought were the absolute cutest and I was pretty much obsessed with them. I was looking to buy one but didn't really have the money so that never really went anywhere and um, <clears throat> I have a, like a whole Pinterest board dedicated to them so anyways it's really fun. We now have a warmer that is a Shasta so ah so exciting. So anyways, a lot of people were really interested in this warmer who've never bought Scentsy from me before, so I need to contact them and see if, um, you know, they're still wanting to get one and get those orders placed and get this month started with my business. So after that, um, it will probably likely be time to go put Colt down for a nap. Um, and then I might switch gears and do some homemaking stuff. So I'll show you my setup and a new planner I got. So here's my setup. I've got my laptop, uh, my iPad so I can watch some YouTube. I've got my phone and my coffee. I do a black coffee with three cream, no sugar. I come home and I add my own sweetener to it. I have... Um, my regular planner. I have this planner out. This was my last year's planner. Um, I had some friends over this weekend and she wanted to see my planner so I got that one out. And then I have my uh, just home notebook. I don't have my Scentsy notebook out. I don't think I'm going to need it so that's kind of why it's not here. And then this is my new planner. So this is the happy planner. My um, Scentsy sponsor sent this to me. It's gold polka dot, which is like my favorite. Um, and I am so excited about this. She had actually initially um, meant to send it to me for Christmas, but um, it just came the other day, which kind of works really good for me and makes me feel like I'm not alone because I'm the worst at getting things to the post office. But I've decided to move my business into this planner and to use my sugar paper planner for my YouTube. So I, and here's the main reason why I wanted to use it for um, my Scentsy business is because of this little setup here. 
um, a place to write birthdays, special events, important dates, things not to forget, and then goals for the month. I actually have some papers that maybe I'll show you guys uh, a little later about um, where I can write all my goals and things, but this will come in super duper handy because I wanna make sure that this is kinda like a highlight page for me for the month. And then these are the discs. I am quite impressed how well, like I'm really tugging on this paper and it doesn't come out. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the disc system, this paper is actually, let's see, it's actually split so you can uh, pull pages out and insert things easily into this system. So that is really cool. This is my first disc bound uh, thing. Um, and then we just kind of go into the calendar. I'm not gonna do a whole walkthrough of this because I'm sure there's really good YouTube videos about it, but mine isn't one of them. Um, so really inspirational quotes. And then um, the calendar, a little section here for notes. And then it goes, oh, it's kind of confusing. Um, I'm missing a page, I think. What is this? Hmm, this doesn't seem to make sense. Oh, that is weird. This page is probably in the wrong spot. I'll have to fix that. Weird. Um, anyways, uh, so I'll move that page over here. Anyways, so there's a calendar, but then it's got the, uh, then it's got the morning, afternoon, and evening set up. So I really like a horizontal layout. I have big handwriting and I really need to write a lot, but I figured that this will probably work good enough for my business. Um, I may even just move it sideways and write <laughs> like this. I don't know. Anyways, I'm excited about this planner. It'll be good. It'll be fun. So that is what I'm up so it's now 10.30 and I went ahead and uh, got little happy birthdays out to my team. We had 11 people with birthdays this month, which seems like quite a bit. Yay for my babies. Um, I messaged a few people about our warmer of the month. It's this, I guess I already told you, it's a cute little camper. Um, and I went through our Facebook page and um, kind of removed the people who are no longer on our team and looked at some numbers and different things like that, sent some messages, responded to some things, and now I'm about ready to go get cool down for his nap. I feel like I haven't even made a dent really in my business, so I'll probably come back to it after I'm done uh, putting him down. I have a doctor's call at 12, so that means that we as leadership get to be on a call with our CEO and different um, executives at Sensi. so that is always fun. Lots of really good information is being passed, and we're in the middle of um, an incentive period, so we can earn prizes and uh, trips and stuff like that, so that's kind of fun. So I'm getting to hear all the leadership details that I need to know pass along to my team and to lead them well and tomorrow we actually have um, our team meeting so I've got to get my notes in order for that as well so it's a big business kind of day so I'm excited for that um, yeah it's kind of a balance of um, being a work-at-home mom is really quite a balance sometimes um, I don't always do it well um, I don't always do the mom thing well, and I don't always run my business well. It is a back and forth kind of thing, and I'm always constantly learning how to do it better and uh, to be successful in both things. So it's it's a constant dance, and sometimes I do it well, and sometimes I don't. So I'm attempting to do it well today. <laughs> um, so I better go get my little babe down for his nap. Hello? He shut me out of his room. Hello? <gasps> Look at this mess in here! What did you do? Hey! What are you doing? <laughs> hey! It's time for your nap! Hello? 
dear. The nightmare would be fingers being shut in the door. <laughs> no, 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 you silly guy. Oh, dear. Oh, no. What are you doing there? I go. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Come back here, you silly fella. Oh, you little stinker. Come on, Colt. It's time for your nap. Come on. No. Yo, yes. Okay. Okay, so it's one o'clock and I have been working, working, working. Um, we announced a brand new product for Scentsy that will come out on May 9th, which is super exciting. Um, it's a whole new scent experience centered around the color indigo, and it's a collection of six bars, and it's kind of a whole new scent experience. Um, so I'm super excited about that. So I'm kind of working on some ideas as far as marketing. Um, I've been using my happy planner. Um, I'd show you it, but it's got a lot of personal business stuff. I'm, I don't know if it's going to work for my business like I had wanted to. Um, like I said, I'm a horizontal planner. I like to write things out. Um, and it's just, it's too small for me. <laughs> so I think I may actually just end up going back to my sugar paper planner and using my happy planner for my YouTube because with YouTube I don't really have to write out that much. So I think I might end up doing that. Sadly though, I went through my sugar paper planner yesterday and wrote out a whole whack load of YouTube ideas. So I kind of wasted some pages there. So, oh, planner problems, right? So Cole is now up, so I'm going to get some lunch. I'm really in a business mode right now. I kind of don't want to stop. Um, but that is part of the balance of being a work-at-home mom and a stay-at-home mom. Um, I consider myself a stay-at-home mom first and a work-at-home mom second. So if anyone ever asks me, I am always refer to myself as a stay-at-home mom with a business. So... Um, it's time to wrap up and I will probably do some more things maybe later. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I've got some house stuff that really needs to get done. I need to chop up some fruit and cauliflower and figure out what we're going to do for dinner. I'm thinking of a loaded cauliflower casserole. I think. I don't really know. And I've got a ton of laundry to put away. So... That is what I'm going to do. So for cold lunch, he's having some goldfish crackers, tomatoes, a carrot, and some turkey. Funny thing, um, my kiddo will live on crackers if I let him. So chances are he probably will not touch anything else on his plate. But there you go. And I am listening to someone um, on... I'm listening to the humorous homemaker. The brows are just, I cannot Periscope? grasp. I can't grasp. And she's talking about YouTube and so homemaking on YouTube, which is kind of super fun. All the same. Ceiling fan blades, that was on there too. Oh, this is so funny. French she's talking braid. about like the whole homemaking community on YouTube and French looking braid. up um, different homemakers and home management oh, binders and look. all sorts of, sorts of fun stuff. Uh, so it's really neat. Um, like girls hairstyles. If you've ever thought about doing a channel, like honestly, you should totally jump right into it. Braids, it is braids, French braids. so, no, no, so fun. Focus. And there is just really I'm welcoming, straight, awesome, straight. awesome community. And uh, so, anyways, yeah. this is just kind of really neat to Laundry watch as she's system. talking.
go pick up Aubrey. I can't find my car keys. <laughs> um, I think I may have left them in my coat pocket. Go. Yes, there they are. Um, yeah, are you ready? Hi. <laughs> okay, so off we go. It is May 2nd, and that is snow. Can you believe that? That is snow. <laughs> So I'm sitting here going through my notebook just rereading some of my notes and I came across this quote, the enemy fights not for your miracle but for your faith. And whatever these notes were, um, the title was Living a Life of Unlimited Expectations and I never wrote down where I actually heard this, um, whether it was a periscope, whether it was an article on Pinterest or what but um this quote really stuck out at me and i'm actually going to hop on facebook really quick and send this to a friend i just think this could really um, apply to her situation right now and i want to be sensitive to those things that come across my path that could be an encouragement to someone else and i just want to take a moment to send it to her so i want that to also be an encouragement for you if you come across a quote, a verse, a song, a word of encouragement for someone, do not hesitate and um, take a moment to just send that. Like, I don't plan to tool around on Facebook, um, but I want to make sure that I get that sent to her um, and not live in a distracted moment, but to send her this word of encouragement as it pricks my heart and um, as I hope it will um, speak words of life to her. Well, hey guys, it is now 8 o'clock. <laughs> I'm not even, well, I'm almost close to being done with my evening routine. Bedtime took a lot longer than normal. Um, Shane is now coming home a lot later uh, with his job. So it was kind of on me to get dinner on, clean up dinner, get the kids bathed, get Colt to bed, and then I was starting to get Aubrey to bed. So that pushes like my whole dishes Till later because she usually puts her to bed we kind of tag team the kids so anyways I am almost done uh, with my nighttime routine I have one more pot to clean um, I've just finished Aubrey's lunch which I'll show you in a second and I need to clean off the table and just kind of finish tidying up the kitchen and then I will mostly be done so after that um, I need to actually answer some Scentsy emails. I saw that I had um, a couple emails come through that I need to answer. So that is, again, just back to the balance of being a work-at-home, stay-at-home mom. If you hear, like, some noise, that's my dog eating her dinner. I didn't realize how rude she's being. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, that's just, again, that's just kind of the balance. I really try and budget my time well. Um, and after I'm done with my evening routine, I will sit down and just kind of relax for a bit. And that's when I'll go on Facebook and I will answer any questions on our team page. Um, I'll check on our Sensei Director page and see if any new information that may have been shared. I'll just That's when I just kind of take the time to browse and, and that sort of thing. So um, nothing too formal, but... If I do have um, some emails, that is when I will answer those as well. And then I basically shut off for the night. Um, I was even telling a team member today, she's uh, new on our team, and uh, she's asked me a lot of questions and things. And um, so I just, I, I let her know that, you know, I'm available from this time to this time. And then you may see me on Facebook and wonder why I haven't responded to your email. But it's because I just, um, I'm not working my business at that point, And I have to be um, protective of my time. I'm a stay-at-home mom. And the reason I stay at home is my kids. I can't be consumed with um, all sorts of outside stuff. I didn't quite say this to her by any means, but um, that is my heart behind all of it. Like, I am home for my children and uh, home to serve my husband and serve um, my children and to make a, 
a lovely home and being glued to the internet and glued to my business is not um, in alignment with with my heart in that way so um, it's a bit of a balance so let me show you where I put in Aubrey's lunch and then we'll see what we do after that I do need to plan tonight I uh, did not get to plan yesterday I am buried under laundry and I'm trying to dig my head out from underneath of it so I folded about five loads last night <laughs> so yeah Okay, so for Aubrey's lunch, she has her water bottle, um, a yogurt tube. Her grandma bought uh, her, and let me talk better English. <laughs> Aubrey's grandma bought um, Aubrey and Colt these yogurt tubes, so I've added one to her lunch. I don't often give these to Colt for his lunch because he's very messy with yogurt, so um, this is either like a snack for Aubrey for school or it is uh, a dinner thing. Um, I tend to save messy foods for Colt for, what do you call it, later in the day. I'm losing my head. Um, and then this is cauliflower. So we did do a loaded cauliflower casserole for dinner, which I will not make again. The recipe was a pin fail. It was not a pin win. It wasn't good. I mean, it was good, but it was not at all like um, the recipe, the picture claimed it would be. It was not even close. So... I probably won't make it again. It was tasty, but bleh. Um, anyways, so these are grapes. I packed those up um, earlier today, which you probably saw. And then just some ham. She loves ham. So that is her lunch. I don't think I'll be adding anything else. She has been coming home with um, some extra food in her lunchbox, so I don't want to be too wasteful. So that should work for her. And I'll show you Shane. He's out here with the dogs. This is Pepsi. She is our Cocker Spaniel. And she is doing some retrieves. And she's so tiny that my window kind of cuts her off. And our dogs are going crazy because they want to get out and they want to do retrieves as well. This is what they are built to do. So they absolutely love to retrieve. Hey y'all, this is my final check-in for the night. I'm going to share with you Shane's lunch. He's going to have some baby carrots, grapes, a salad. He has two ham sandwiches with lettuce and a bag of jalapeno chips. I may actually need to add something else to this lunch. Um, he's going to be probably working 12 hours tomorrow, so um, this will be, you know, lunch, snack, breakfast, um, and I don't think this is quite going to be enough food, so I may actually make him some oatmeal in the morning. I like to use um, just regular oats and um, make it on the stove, so I might do that tomorrow morning. I am just about ready to pour myself a tall glass of cold water. I like to use these water drops from President's Choice brand, which is um, a store brand here in Canada. And they're sweetened with stevia, which is kind of really nice. And then, I just wanted to show you one more thing. Just wanted to share with you the sky tonight. I think it looks so pretty. That will do it for me today, guys. I hope you had a wonderful day, and I will chat with you soon. Bye.